Hello there. If you want to implement integrate this Webflow application into your Shopify store, you are in the right place. So let's dig into it. So if you didn't know, this site of Webflow is going to be helping us to improve some marketing assets um, and build our 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 own website. It's going to be like a few elements uh, that was created with Webflow. And there are a bunch of ways that we can take advantage of this great application. So let's see how it, we can implement this into Shopify so we can take advantage of these tools and we can start today. And of course, we can start for free. So first of all, guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can get your Shopify store truly for free and you might get a few rewards. For example, 30 day free trial mode of a Shopify store. So now that you have your account, it says to create your first online store, just in case you do, if you don't have an online store yet. So go into the create store uh, here. You want to verify your email before you can create another store. So first of all, I'm just going to confirm my Shopify store. And after I make the confirmation of my email, now what I can do is to go back into um, my account and go into Shopify and here what I can do is to start creating my first uh, website so, so here I'm just going to reload the Shopify store go into create store and I'm just gonna create something really simple like for example go into create store so the store is going to be created like right away I don't want to focus a lot into how to set up your store because it's really uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that and there's another video into uh, our channel so you can take a look into that so once we have already our account our Shopify store what I want to do is to skip to this option at the moment I don't want to start uh, here yet so what I want to do is to input this real quick and now that our trial has just started, we can now start to implement more stuff. So what I want to focus in here is into the ad application. Um, so if you want to browse some stuff in here to print on demand applications, it's going to be sending you exactly into the same option. So go into ad applications and here we can start by looking with made by Shopify, but we want to go directly into the Shopify app store. So scroll all your way down until you find this blue linked section. It's going to be sending us into the app store uh, of Shopify. So what we need to do is to go into search apps here into the search bar. And I want to look for web flow. I'm going to hit into enter. And let's see if I can find the application myself. So once I deactivate this option of works with Shopify POS, here I'm going to be seeing a lot of options. In my case, I only have available the Puck Synced and the Gem Page landing page builder. This uh, Gem Page, it's a little bit, um, it's like the same into Webflow, but it's not the same thing. But if you don't see the Webflow into your account, into the Shopify app store, let's see if we can find this into the Webflow. So here into the Webflow, I want to go into get started. This is totally for free. And here, what I want to do is to continue with my email. I'm going to choose the same email that I created in order to create my account here into Webflow. After I hit into continue, I'm going to create a passcode, hit into create an account. And after I filled all my information, who, who will be building websites for you? Let's say uh, myself, go into continue. I am unfamiliar with HTML. These are just part of a website code. You don't want to focus in here uh, at the moment. What do you want to build today? Today, I want to build a business site. If you want to build a portfolio blog, whatever you want to do, choose the option and go into finished. So as you can see, what happened here is that the web flow is starting to be created. It's going to be appearing all the basic layouts. So what I want to do is to actually create it here my own website. So this might be the main reason why we can't not integrate the web flow into our store here. So what I want to go is into add pages. Once again, I'm going to go into my Shopify store. 
in here want to I'm gonna try with ten pages I'm gonna choose option and I'm gonna hit into add applications now as you can see we have to pay for this application so as you can see I do have here the section number one so I can start building my own um, my own website so it's going to be helping us to create just different stuff all right so as you can see after you head into all the tools that webflow has to offer to us let's say for example that i want to scroll all my way down what i want to do is to exit the tutorial and let's say that you've created a new site let's say for example that we have a few uh, preset let's say for example I'm gonna be using this one because it's totally for free and kind of like it so I'm gonna be choosing select I create my site and once I create my site I do have this available into webflow but although I am NOT able to integrate this into my Shopify store what I can try to do I'm gonna go into advanced options here I want to enable WSL now in my case this option are not available because I do have to choose a side plan but if I had this option what I can do is to publish this domain using a HDM and a CSV file so this CSV file can be imported into my Shopify store so once I have my Shopify store once I have the store from Webflow import it into Shopify now I can be able to start using this store inside the Shopify without having to integrate a specific application like Webflow so go into the search bar import your products with a CSV file I'm gonna prove all this uh, sections and in here I just need to import my CSV file from uh, from Webflow so actually that's the way that we can be using the webflow integrated integrate that into the Shopify store if you don't want to have to do this uh, what I can try to suggest you guys is to create your account your store to customize that inside Shopify so you don't have to do all this process and the process is exactly the same and it's more it's a little bit much more faster if you go into your home section what I can do is to go into my online store that I just created I want to go into themes and here into themes I can go into customize or I can choose a theme library and here into theme library I want to visit the theme store and voila now what we can do is to use this theme to customize it as we want to do so I want to go into theme library which is this one as you can see it's charging so I need to just choose this option and hit into customize if I want to delete it I want to delete the previous one but in the moment I want to customize this one and all the tools just to set up use into webflow like this are gonna be appearing here into Shopify so that uh, it's really up to you guys which one you want to use actually like webflow if you have a CSV file and an application of migration between one page into another one so once again if you actually want to create your account customize your store give this application a chance to give this creative studio a chance and start your own store uh, but the decision is totally up to you guys so hopefully this video was useful for you don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this customization section of uh, Shopify I'm gonna stay here just to customize my own store and I won't be using Webflow at the moment so hopefully we can see your website already finished and I will see you guys on the next one